well, what book are we in here? We're in Generalized Linear Models with examples in R. We're in Chapter 3, and we're on Question 3.3. .3. So this has three parts to it. Um, this is, I think, has an asterisk by it because it's, I think, either that means it has to do with matrices or because it's kind of difficult. Um, and, uh, well, well, we'll get through it. So we have three parts, so um, let's just start with part one. Okay. Um, so we're considering a simple linear regression model um, with all weights set to one. So in other words, we don't have to worry about the weighting of, of, uh, of any of the variables or values. Um, and we have a constant term uh, and one linear predictor. So in other words, you know, we have the intercept and one slope. Okay. So we're meant to show this. Okay. And so that's the first thing we're going to do. So what is this? Well, this is a diagonal element of the hat matrix. Remember, this is the hat matrix written in, uh, in matrix notation. Um, and the diagonal elements are, uh, are H, I, well, would be like H, I, okay? So, so the diagonal elements, for instance, in this little matrix right here, which we'll look at in a second, this is a diagonal element and that's a diagonal element, okay? And so if we want to find the diagonal elements of our hat matrix, well, we can just kind of adjust it a little bit by, well, by, uh, by taking the vectors, the ith vector, uh, instead of the entire matrix and, and running through that matrix multiplication. Okay, so here, x i as a vector is just represented here. Okay, so it's just the intercept and then the data that goes with the slope, the, with the beta coefficient. Okay, so uh, if we take this formula and plug in h i or x i, okay, we get this. And since we only have two parameters, we can uh, we can uh, well we can uh, sum this. Well, I, I shouldn't have said it like that, but Anyway, notice that we only have two parameters, so this is a very simple one. Again, that the parameters are this and this. Um, so if we take this matrix, and instead of writing, in, writing this matrix in matrix notation, sorry, uh, and we, we're just summing, we're, we're using the summation notation, we get this. Okay. Um, and then we, I won't bore you with all of the calculations, but we just churn through uh, the calculations, which I believe that I've done correctly here. And ultimately, we, we arrive at the thing that we were meant to show in the first place. So again, I won't, you know, you, you can walk through the, uh, the steps for yourself, but, um, but we can show, in fact, what we were meant to show, namely that HI is equal to this. Um, I will say a couple things about this. One is I don't really like problems like this where they just say, show that this equals this, because uh, sometimes it can be hard to get into exactly how to do it, like what manipulations to do. And so I don't always know that it's super valuable. But anyway, there you go. Um, and also... As I was going to make a make this video, I found a small error right here where I had ac accidentally switched these places prematurely, um, or, or failed to switch them, I should say. Um, and so I believe that everything is correct, but if you find an error in what I've done here, then please let me know and I will try to fix it. So, Okay, um, <clears throat> now we're meant to use this expression to show that hi is greater than 1 over n. Okay, um, so um, given this expression, it's, I mean, it just jumps off the page. So remember, this is equal to hi, and we're meant to show that hi is greater than 1 over n. Well, here's the 1 over n, and then we're adding this term, and this term is necessarily positive, right? Because we have, you know, we have these square values, so this is necessarily a positive value. So we're adding some positive value to 1 over n, therefore h sub i needs to be greater than 1 over n. Okay. Um, and now finally, we need to show that h i is less than uh, less than one, and uh, it it says to hint show that h is idempotent, um, and first show this thing right here. Um, I might not have gone this path to show that h i is less than one. Really, to show that h i is less than one, we we need to show that this you know that this thing is less than one, which means that. I think that there's probably, or the way I would have tackled it, but did not, but is uh, is to show that this thing right here can be no longer than n minus 1 over n, right? Uh, I bet that there's a way to show it that way, but um, I did not show it because I wanted to abide by the question. Okay, 
So, um, so let's go through this. So, um, so first, recall that H is item potent because if I square the matrix H, the hat matrix, I get H back. And we showed that above. I think it's in question three point. Yeah, problem three point two above. So you can go up there and, and look at that if you need to. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, so in that hat matrix, every element can be given by this expression right here. Okay. Um, and uh, and the diagonal elements can be expanded into this, okay? And that, that's what uh, that's what we're meant to show here. Now, in order to show that, I just thought the easiest way to do this is to just use a little two by two example. So here I have a, a hat matrix, and I'm going to multiply it by itself, okay? Uh, and so, uh, well, so you know, you go through the you go through everything, um, and when I multiply them, I get this, okay? Um, now it turns out that uh, that H being symmetric, it means that uh, that this and this are really the same thing, okay? Uh, but um, but uh, that's not what's important here. What we want to look at is these diagonals, these H I's. Okay, so here's H I. Here's H I. Okay, and so so notice that the HI elements follow this pattern right here. It's HI squared, so this is this is the 1-1 one, one element right here. This is the 2-2 two, two element, okay? So here I have H11, one, one, or H1 for short, squared, plus the sum of uh, the sum of the other elements where where they're not the same, okay? So, so this and this both follow this pattern, okay? Okay, so now all of that then um, just, uh, so, so, so what are we trying to show again? We're, we're trying to show that this whole thing right here, that this thing right here is going to be less than or equal to one. Okay. Well, um, well notice that, uh, that both H I squared and, you know, the sum of all of this, these are necessarily positive because we've, we've squared them, but they sum to H I. Okay, so in other words, I have HI squared plus something else that is necessarily positive, okay? And so I know then that HI has to be greater than HI squared, right? It has to be greater than this thing because I'm adding something else to it that is necessarily positive and those sum to equal HI. Therefore, HI has to be greater than HI squared, okay? Um, so anyway, that shows us the answer to number three.